brought to you by GTA, your island, your net. Police shot him multiple times. I'm not speaking on behalf of the chief medical examiner, but in collaboration with his office and in, in determining the results of the autopsy and uh, where we are at this juncture of the investigation, we have reclassified the investigation to a homicide. GPD Chief of Police Jay Cruz confirming the investigation has taken a turn. That new detail of the autopsy for the gunman, Stephen Seagraves, is now officially made public. The manner of death, a homicide. Cruz reserving to comment any further on the gunman's injuries for now. This latest information comes the day after police and the governor's office confirmed who owned the gun Seagraves used during the shootout with police. It took the Guam Police Department several days after the incident occurred. Several days until they learned the gun was actually the police department's and reported stolen during a burglary incident more than 20 years ago from then police officer 3, Ray Tenorio, the lieutenant governor of Guam. Although, um, it may appear on the surface that uh, there, there, may be, there are implications going back to then Officer Tenorio. I will tell you that based on the documents that we've seen, based on the criminal report initiated back in 1996 and the administrative report that was initiated back then, uh, you know, the, then Officer Tenorio was, was given a letter of clearance. Last month, Seagraves led police on a high-speed chase from Barragada to Dededo. Seagraves shooting at officers giving chase. The incident came to a deadly end on Chalon Langit in Dededo. Now investigators are keeping the gun as evidence and trying to track its path from the time it was taken to the moment it got into Seagraves' hands. And we are trying to determine where exactly, uh, how uh, Mr. Seagraves came in contact with that weapon. Where did it come from? Shots. A determination that he says could also close the case on Tenorio's 1996 burglary complaint. As for the two officers placed on administrative leave following the shooting, Chief Cruz says they are doing okay and opted to take the full 20 days off. At that point in time, we will do an assessment on both those officers. Mm -hmm. If they are fit for duty, uh, at the end of the 20 days, I will put them back, I will restore them back to full duty. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.